Hey guys and girls, I'm going to show you how to make a fluorescent dual tone image in Photoshop. So I've loaded my image into Photoshop and the first thing I'm going to do is add a new adjustment layer and it's going to be hue and saturation. And I'm going to up the saturation to around 60, 65 um, just to give it quite a vibrant look. So that's that. I'm then going to add another adjustment layer and I'm going to add a gradient map. So I want to double click on the swatch here and I'm going to change the first color here to a nice bright vibrant purple and on the right side I'm going to change it to a nice vibrant yellowy orange just, um, yeah just around that perfect okay happy with that I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on the background layer and I'm going to add a filter, uh, sharpen, unsharp mask, and 25, 25, and 0. Okay. Um, okay, so what we need is add a sort of dotted pattern over this image. So to do that, I'm going to go far new and I'm going to click OK and I've got a new image which is plain white. I'm going to turn that grey so make sure my grey colour is selected. Uh, grab the fill tool and just fill that. And I'm going to add filter, go to filter gallery and under sketch you'll find half tone pattern okay and you want to just leave it at sort of one and five just the defaults and click OK. So there's our pattern we're going to control a to select all and control c to copy and we're going to paste that into our image and we're going to just resize it with control t to transform stretch it out get it to where we want it and press enter to confirm and we're going to make sure that's in the middle of the two um, adjustment layers so the gradient map and the hue and then we're going to set the blend mode to overlay okay so I'm happy with that okay now I've had a look online um, in Google image and what I've done is found some paint splatters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the paint splatters so here's the paint splatters and what I need to do is make the background of this splatters image uh, transparent so I'm going to grab the magic wand tool select that delete the background and then I'm going to control a control a and control C to copy that and I'm going to paste that into my image control T to transform I'm just going to make it slightly bigger and it just all depends where you really want want this to be put and like I said it's completely personal preference I'm gonna have it there going to okay and I'm gonna just change the opacity on it to around 70 75 Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I found uh, some swirly patterns. So if I bring up this and show you some swirl patterns. So you're going to control A and control C. Uh, a layer from background and I'll remove the background actually. So I'm just going to remove the background. Get rid of the background from inside the little dots doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be uh, only using some of this image okay that's good enough control A control C and paste that in control V gonna control T that make it quite large to fill the whole picture okay I'm going to set the, the screen mode to color dodge, so the blend mode to color dodge, so as we just see the sort of outline of these images, we can play about where we want them. I'm just going to grab the eraser tool, I'm just going to erase the ones mostly over her face because I don't really want those. 
And what we're going to do now is I'm going to file open and I'm going to open uh, this sort of speckled image that I found online. I'm going to control A, control C, and I'm just going to paste that over. Control V, uh, control T again to transform. And we're just going to stretch that out. Okay. Gonna leave the, the blend mode normal. We'll take the opacity down just a little bit. So to around 60. Okay, grab our eraser tool and just gonna erase some of the speckles from the face just to make the face stand out a little bit. Okay. Um, you can you can mess about with your your curves. Add a new adjustment there and do your curves to make it lighter or darker. I'm going to make this slightly darker just to give it a pop. Just play about those curves just a little bit, and I'm pretty happy with that. Job done. Like, subscribe, and share.